So in this video I'm going to be talking about basically how to uh, create a deployment and I'm going to call it NGINX web with three replicas and then I'm going to expose it via a service called the NGINX service and also uh, going to actually navigate to uh, the web page which is going to be hosted by NGINX and then basically there since they're going to be like three replicas and the service is going to be uh, in front of these pods and then basically switch between so the nginx service is going to act like a load balancer and it's going to basically switch between uh, each of these pods uh, based on the uh, traffic so it'll kind of balance the uh, requests which are coming in uh, and then we'll see how it actually keeps switching between these pods in making these requests uh, so let's go ahead and do that so the first thing uh, I will do for that is to basically create the deployment create deployment so I'm going to create the deployment and the annex web and I won't be surprised if this deployment already exists so I have to delete that deployment so for that I'm going to do KD which is basically delete cube cuttle delete and deploy and I'm just going to delete uh, all the deployments so now I shouldn't have anything which is going to be K and GS KGD which is getting the cube cuttle deployment so there's no deployments and if I looked at KGP which is basically cube cuttle get pods I don't have any of those parts so let's kind of start the deployment now so that deployment is created and then if we just do KG pods which is basically cube cuttle get pods uh, we can see those parts are running with an IP of 4 two and seven so now I want to go and create the service so for creating the service it's going to be cube cuttle expose so I'm going to expose this deployment which is called as NGINX which is going to be on port 8089 and a target port of 80 which is the container port and then the is going to be of uh, service of node type uh, node port the type which is going to be of node port and the name of the service is going to be nginx service so let's kind of do that so it basically tells us hey you have those service already there so i'm going to do kd and then service so i want to get rid of the service and then i'm going to expose the service so now we have the service exposed so now let's do KGS which is going to give me the services which are running and KDN which is going to give me the uh, cube actually now KGN KGN which is going to give me the nodes so here the important thing to note here is the port which is a 31048 so that is the port which is exposed by the service and since this is a node port service it's actually going to be um, worked off the uh, IP address of the node so the minikube IP address is this 192.168.64.14 so if I made a curl request with um, this is 14 so if I went to that port of the service which is 31048 so we can see this is the pod address and we could also go to that um, in a web page so if I copy this And then if I navigate to a web page uh, 
we will see that uh, we did get to the web page which is going to 172.76.80 uh, so it's going to the port number 6 here and here when we went we went to 04 so so here we can see we can actually do a curl or we can do that so if we go back to go to it again we will see it went to 3 so keep an eye out on this guys and then if we go to it again we went to 4 we go to it again it's going to 3 so we can see that the load balancer is switching between those two and if we go to the web page again here and uh, let me refresh that web page and then sometimes you'll see that the web page does not uh, refresh and I can put like uh, there's an auto refresh so I actually put the auto refresh on on this web page and let's see if uh, the IP address changes so we'll see that the IP address pretty much doesn't change on the web because there's probably some kind of a caching mechanism on the web going on and I don't know how to kind of uh, circumvent that but but you can pretty much easily see it goes so there's some stickiness in the web which actually prevents uh, uh, the, the it is getting routed to the same IP address um, and that is kind of called the stickiness whereas if you go to it using the curl request there is no stickiness so you end up going to a different IP address um, each time you go there uh, most probably so so that's the important thing to remember um, but the website address also changes because there's some kind of a uh, sticky s um, session timeout or maybe if I clear the cache maybe it does it let's try that um, I'm, I'm sure there's a way to disable the sticky session so that you can actually see different IP addresses I can't recall uh, how to do that at this point but I guess you guys get the idea of how to basically expose this uh, uh, thing onto the web uh, so let me just pause this video here and then see if I can so I I try to use my public IP address and go to the site but uh, looks like I can't get to it uh, that could be because uh, I don't have this particular port open for uh, to be able to get to it from the outside world like that I have to open up the TCP IP port 31048 to be able to uh, get access from an external world to the site but I can go to it from uh, my internal uh, uh, site so so that's about it for this demo hope you guys